Hey everyone, welcome back to our course. So as promised, we will run some unit tests on use queries hook uh, before we jump into mutations. So if you watch my last uh, video in this course, which is about unit tests, but for use query, you might have idea better on how to do it, but let's do it together in case this is some confusion. So this is our company, which uses use queries. So at the moment, we just set up an RF IDs, which we map through them. Then for each one, we trigger an API, use through a query itself to get us that item itself details okay and then we use combine functionality to give us a mapped results and then we can access them here now how we can uh, test the use queries and that we are getting the data that we wanted or the loading state is right or the error state is right now first thing we need to mock the use queries so in my setup.test file already i mocked it here in the line 7 then i export it in the line 10 same way as we did for use query itself okay that's it now we close this file and we go to our test file so in our test file if you remember for the use query we did uh, initial mock as well in here where we uh, mock our 10 sec slash react query and we just uh, create a JSON function pointing to that query hook here as well. So you need to do the both setups in here and the test file in order for your test to run and work as expected. Okay. Now, next thing is that we need to import the use queries itself. Use queries from a 10 secret query. Okay. To import our testing libraries. So we need to import render and screen as well from react testing library so slash react then you have to import your components of course that you need to test import and what we call it here to do list queries or just copy and paste so i don't do any spelling mistakes close this from my index because my test file is in the same root as my component now next thing we have to do is start our test so describe oops not that describe let me move all this describe with a description for your test so i will just call it um to do list queries i will create my test here so one thing i have to do here after each test finish because i'll be mocking the use query hook so i need to clear um, those mocks so uh, what i say here after each test finish so after each i want to run just dot reset all mocks so i want to reset all my mocks i have in each and every test when they are done okay now that one out of the way let's create our first test and let's test our loading scenario so you can see here when there is a pending, means even any one of them is pending, we have to show loading text, okay? So I want to test if my loading is showing on the screen. So I'll come here and say it. Oops. These things keep adding up. I don't need them. So it displays loading state when data is being fetched, okay? now let's run our test so first thing i need to uh, mock the result of my query okay so i say use queries dot mock re return return value so i'm mocking the returned value of my use queries okay and what i will mock i if you remember we have here two things coming back data and pending so i'll say data is undefined and defined and pending is true oops pending not p capital pending is true okay so here basically we are simulating the load state okay now we mock the result for our use query hook we need to render our component render to do to do list queries and now we mocked our rend of our components we can make our assertions or our test itself 
so what I'm expecting expect that my screen dot get element by not get element get by text I should find loading okay get and by text let's say slash loading slash and I so basically I'm just trying to find a text so I want I'm expecting to find my text loading in the document to be in the document okay let's run our test and you can see it passed now we'll follow the same pattern but this time to this to check that we are getting our to do's list okay so what i will do, just copy this one for simplicity and being quick so i'll say displays data when query is successful so i'll mark the data here so it will be an array of items so id1 title to do one and is completed false and i'll just copy this object and duplicate it and id will be two to do two or maybe this set this one to true okay now we're getting this back the pending should be set to false of course so simulate this time not the loading state but simulation success fetch and then we are not expected to get element by text to find loading this time but if you remember we're displaying the title so we need to find by title to do one for example to be in document and also to do two it should be in document run this and there we go very successful test okay you can try other variations as well depending on your component what it does but i hope this makes sense and make easier for you to test your components when you use use queries hook from uh, 10 stack query